All right, I'll talk about it on the Sonic X Shadow Generations. Is it Sonic Forces? No, it's not. And I'll give my opinions right here, right now. Hope you guys enjoy. So let's talk about the story for Sonic Extra Generations because it is going to be so much better than what Sonic Forces was. Sonic Forces, well, yes, I may like the Sonic Forces story a little bit, and it's really good. But not as really good as Sonic Extra Generations because if you look at Sonic Forces, well, yes, it may have great ambition. It's just, I will put it as like a, a 7 out of 10 story or a 6 out of 10 because it's just not going to be, it's not as good as Sonic Extra Generations as we know it so far because... Sonic A Shredded Generations is going to define the boost games formula, which I'll make in every video, and it's going to define Shadow as we know it for in the future, because if you look at the story for this game, this game has so much ambition, and I know that, may, that word may be like used a lot in other content creators, but like, seriously, the ambition for this game and the love that is putting it to pouring into this game is so, so good, and you can really tell because the level design, the story, the just the way the boost formula is implemented into this, and the way Shadow has different abilities along with that, and you can just use all of this combination, and it's just a perfect, perfect game. And But we're going to stay with the story now. But the story for this game is looking like the Time Meteor is going to have Shadow go into his past and relive through all those memories. And I really think this is a key factor into it because Shadow's going through his past. Shadow has not really talked about his past to any of the Sonic characters really that much at all. Yeah, there may be sn snippets here and there in his past Sonic games, but really Shadow has never really really relive through all those memories he may have flashbacks in shadow 05 but he has really never relived through all those memories except for through shadow 05 shadow 05 yes it, it goes through what ha what happened to shadow's memories and if he's an android or not blah 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 you know the story but the story in this game it, it, it takes it to a whole nother level because black tombs in this game as long as time meter Along with probably hopefully Methylis in the Biolizard and Meta Overlord. All this combination is going to spiral Shadow's rage out of control and he's gonna lose his he's gonna lose his self-control and he's gonna be enraged. With, and I think this is why it's implemented into the story as him just being enraged with all what happened into his past. And I think that's how he gets his powers. And the time meter is having Shadow really through his past. And I think that this is going to be greatly implemented into this game because what we could see is Super Shadow and Super Black Doom Shadow go full on into the time meter and we could get a different boss battle than in something that's so much more epic than what we could have been gotten in Sonic Generations. What we could get for the time meter boss battle it's going to be just mind blowing because I can already see the dialogue being so much better. I can see the camera angles, the way Sh Super Shadow is implemented into it, the way the dialogue, the way just everything is going to be so much better into it. And the story is going to be so much better because Shadow is reliving through his past. Now, what I want to go through next is the powers. The powers is going to be so, so good into this level design because these Shadow's powers it's what's going to make this game thrive. We're going to be talking about the Doom Spears, a.k.a. Uh, Chaos Spears. So I, I want to talk about that first because this is going to be my favorite part about this is Chaos Spears is that you can literally going through boost the level and it's going to be making the level design so much more good than Sonic Forces because with this Chaos Spear, you can literally throw multiple ejectiles as you're boosting through the level, you are you hit the spring, you're going left, right, up, down, you're throwing spears everywhere. You can, this is a really good formula for good level design, and it just makes it more epic. Next we're going to talk about is Doom Blast. So this looks like that you can attack, like attack it uh, multiple times for one enemy, and it looks like that you can, once you do multiple punches at him, try to literally kicks them up and just kicks them like drop kicks them forward now what this can do is 
I can see this along with Chaos Spears is you you Chaos Spear someone and the next enemy you go to is you launch them and then if you haven't defeated them already, you Chaos Spear him as you're boosting through the level. This is really hype. And, and what's next is what I'm gonna talk about. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about is do morph. So what you can do in this is you can literally grapple onto said object and then like hook onto a wall or something or hook up to some certain object launch yourself forward or you can go underground and just not defeat you can defeat enemies i guess or just go under the ground and not be detected or whatever if you don't want to just like go through like level platforming you can literally just grapple onto said object and just do it that way. so next we're going to talk about is doom wings this one we all knew from the start when this game pretty much they showed us the first power was shadow in his wings so what doom wings can do is that you can literally soar through the sky and dodge objects and this makes for a good level design and it's something we've never seen before because except through maybe tails and his floating tails and he can do that but this takes it to another level because what shadow can do is he can literally he's a he's a hedgehog so he's supposed to be fast so what you can do is you can also boost the level, but also at the same time, you can fly through the sky in the same level. It, you can dodge objects and it's just a different level and point of view of going through a level that we've never seen before. And so the next one I want to talk about is the Doom Surf. So what you can do in this is you can literally attack the Metal Overlord and this is how you're going to defeat him, I'm, I'm sure. And it's literally Shadow riding on a Stingray. <laughs> And what you can do is you can surf on water and you can defeat enemies, spring attack on enemies. It looks like that you can just go on the little rings that you can do. You can. It looks like that you can just use this normally and just go through the level this way. But you can just also attack with it. So I think this serves the same purpose as for boosting, but maybe like use it as a different purpose as using it to defeat metal overlord or something but let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments down below which power you're liking more i'm preferably liking the shadow chaos spears i i that's personally just my all-time favorite and i love it so next we're going to talk about the last thing i want to talk about is the level design the level design for this game is it's going to be next level something that we've never seen before because for Sonic Extra Generations, it's going to be next level. Shadow Generations is going to redefine the boost formula, which is another video I'll be talking about. But the, it de re de redefines the boost formula because we have never seen cinematics like this before in a Sonic game, except maybe for Sonic Unleashed. But that's the closest thing it's come to. But for this Shadow Generations, it, it looks like it's just changing everything. You have different camera angles. You have different abilities. You can match, -match everything of Shadow powers you can literally the, the camera angles the way the you have multiple paths the way the level design is like you can go through the level multiple paths you have literally so much more engagement in the level and you can just go through it your own way and just have good momentum in the game because also what's really important is that what sonic forces didn't do is have good momentum you literally just boosted forward and that's really pretty much it and for this game it's gonna just change that and just redefine it because this changes so much more than just good boost formula this is gonna change how level design works in future sonic games because for this you are gonna be able to attack like button mash attack a freaking rocket you're gonna be able to use shadow's abilities to go through the level your own way you can go through the level differently you can boost through it through a chaos spears launch an enemy fly surf connect to objects i mean like literally this is just redefining everything about the uh, levels as we know it and also you this isn't some like luster levels this is actually going to be levels like you're going to be loving to replay and just try to speed run through all of them and i think this is also going to be a good way of level design just because of just look at the environment look at everything in sonic forces all you all you got in sonic forces was forward that's all you saw for this game you're able to see not only forward but you're able to see like, you can literally see yourself going on the walls, going up at the ceiling, going underground. You can literally 
just go everywhere. I mean, it's it's like it's like adventure formula, but like boost formula, so, so to speak. But it's just changing everything, and it's I I I want to know what you guys think of this down below because it's just really really changing everything about the boost formula, and just this is just nothing like Sonic Forces. I don't really I don't I don't see how people think this is like Sonic Forces because it's not. If you literally look at everything, everything that is being put into this, it is nothing like Sonic Forces. Sonic Forces, you boost to the level, you go for it, that's it. Wait, this is changing everything, like, to everything. And I mean everything that I've talked about in this video already, but this just gives it a whole different purpose and a whole nother level. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.